Now I featured this, the 2017 Planet Computers Gemini, before on my channel extolling its superb laptop-like hinge system and its full five row QWERTY mechanical keyboard. It's still one of my favourite devices of all time, even though it has a number of downsides in 2025. It's horrifically out of date in terms of support and stuck on Android 8 and 2018 security. The screen bezels are large. There's no outside screen for notifications. There's no NFC for Google Pay and the stereo speakers are wired out of phase. But the keyboard is still fantastic. And the screen is very usable indoors, at least. So I thought it worth delivering my top five tips for getting better use from the Gemini in 2025. You can increase the effective screen size by 7% by heading into settings, Gemini settings and toggling on hide navigation bar. After a reboot, this gets rid of the old style Android controls and gives you back the full width of the 5.7 inch landscape screen. With no Android controls, don't worry about navigating. Function D gets you back to the desktop, i.e. home. Function A gives you apps and multitasking, plus the escape key at any point, naturally, is always back. Perfect. Even though the Gemini was abandoned on Android 8, you can still get all the Android middleware up to speed by installing utilities for Play Services from the Play Store. This will check the current Play Services details. 15th of March 2025, we're bang up to date and also a direct link over to the page in the Play Store where you can update if there's an update available. With the Gemini's other limitations, there's little cause for treating this like a primary 2025 smartphone. So scale down your expectations in terms of application installed. Don't just load up your normal set. Stick to email and document apps, for example, Google Docs and Sheets, Contacts, Calendar and so on, and you'll be fine. I'd suggest using this alongside a small traditional candy bar phone like an iPhone Pro series or Pixel Pro to handle camera social payments and modern social apps. You'll probably never want to take calls on the Gemini, so again, piggyback this by your primary phone's Wi-Fi hotspot feature. The next stage up from the Gemini was Planet's follow-up, the NFC-enabled Cosmo Communicator with cover screen. I'm trying to source one of these long term so that I can try that as a main device in 2025. Shock horror. Watch this space.